I got, I'm gonna read some questions because I, I've written down some questions. Please. Um, what's a great memory from 2022 this year? A great memory from 2022 this year. Um, well, I have a few. Um, I think uh, I think my 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 great memories. They start with New Year's Eve. I had a great New Year's Eve. I was in St. Bart's um, with with some dear friends. Um, and um, shout out to Ernesto, Tommaso, Leo, all the guys. Um, we're gonna be back this year. Of course, St. Bart's is my New Year's spot. So we brought the New Year in right. And then, uh, man, I got to, you know, I made a I made a really different album this year. Yeah. Like, you know, obviously it's for some people, it's not for some people, but it was really for me. And I made this album called Honestly Nevermind, um, which was a departure from what I usually do. And I, uh, and I got to like see a part of the world because of that album with my brothers, like, we got to go to Saint Tropez. We got to go to Ibiza um, and be in different clubs, hearing different music. Uh, I got to see Black Coffee live in Ibiza. Probably one of the craziest nights of my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. But it just brought me other places. So that that and then the the best memory had to be we were me and Twenty One worked so hard on her loss, and there was a moment. Um, it's a great album, by the way. Thank man. you. It's I appreciate that. Album. There was a moment where we were finishing the album in Miami, and we had all these. You know, 40 had gotten COVID and there were just all these setbacks and we finally like we got the mixes to the album and we rented out this club. So, um, I mean, how, how long does that pause take? Like from let, let's I, I, like from the first track to the last, like how long does that like? I think we worked on that album for like four months, maybe four months. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's quick. I, I know that's, it's quick. And I have no album standards <laughs> yeah. at all. Like, like, like I, I've, you know, I've obviously had albums that take a year. I've had albums that take two years, and then like I have an album like if you're reading this is too late. I think we made that in like six weeks, yeah, eight weeks, and uh, what a time to be alive! Another album that we made fast, but um, but yeah, the greatest memory for me was we rented out this club and we we were listening to the mix mixed records yeah, yeah, in yeah. the club, and it was I just remember staring at 21, and that's just my brother. We've been through so much, and and I got to look at him, and I just realized that man, we we have something. I remember just seeing him like across the club. And he just nodded at me. I nodded at him. But, and we just knew we had something special, you know. Me and my friends were talking about it today. Like how cool it is. Like one album with two, like artists doing. Well, it's always like making an album is always you versus yourself. So when you're making it with someone else, there's like a certain freedom. That yeah, but 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 you see artists doing that with one song. You know, they release yeah. they, they release one album and then it's like one song featuring yeah. someone. But this is like an entire. Yeah, you gotta have a great relationship with somebody, and yeah. I think like what it, it hit me after after we did knife talk on CLB and and um, Jimmy Cooks on on honestly never mind. I was just like, you know, I really truly enjoy making music with this person. I always have, and um, and people were just like, you know, spamming they're like these guys don't miss, you know, like this is a great <laughs> duo. So I was like, why not? Let's let's try it out. And I, I mean, I know if it wouldn't have worked out, we both would have. We're, we're we're egoless. We're egoless guys. We we have real love for each but, other. So. But but when you say if it wouldn't work out, like I also assume that you wouldn't put out things that you wouldn't be proud of. Well, right? that's my point. Like if I was listening back to like let's say we made four or five songs and I was like this, I was like maybe I don't know if we're gonna be able to take it over the stretch of yeah. an album. Maybe I would just fall back and be like, oh, let's just release like yeah. two or three of the best songs. But we were just on a roll. They just kept flowing. Of course, my brother Lil Yachty was with me the whole time. And his ear is insane. He was helping me pick the beats. He was in the studio with me, telling me, "Yo, baby, do this." And like he helping me so much. Um, and all the just fresh, fresh minds around is the best thing. So those would be my three top memories of of 2022. But that memory of seeing Savage in the club and the look <laughs> on his face, and I was like, "Oh yeah, no, we we got something," you know. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Um. So. That's the best, great, that was just like a couple of great memories from mm -hmm. 2022. So 